start streaming. It was playing intro. Well, once it starts, okay. Um, okay, now let me get the this copy. Now I'm gonna when I hit paste this time. Okay, I didn't hit paste enter. Like you know how sometimes you like paste enter so quick you can't even see it. So here, that's the stream to um. And I'll be using that in class, and that's now a different one than I used last year because I had to just reset it. Um, so welcome to computer science. We are uh, working on our, um, and I'm, I'm green today. I'm feeling green. Um, I'm a little radioactive. Um, so uh, if you do watch the stream, what will be nice is you can rewind um, and you can pause things if, if I go too fast. So I can go at a little bit of a more natural pace. Um, so we want to, what we're going to do here is we're going to try to make it so these stack up correctly. Um, they do stack correctly for certain situations, like if you're just throwing cards into piles. But they don't stack according to the way Klondike Solitaire stacks when we were just playing the game. Thank you. Um, I got food. Oh, you can't even see it. It's all red and green. Um, and tea to keep warm during the snowstorm. So, um, okay, so let's actually get to work. Um, so here's our JavaScript. Uh, I am gonna come and I'm gonna hide all of our functions. Um, it's just easier to find the stuff that we're looking for. And then at the end of class, if anyone wants me to open them all, although I do, I do give you the source code, so I don't know why you'd need to. Um, comb through it on, on the video. Um, but if you wanted me to, I, I could show it to you on the video. Oh, maybe, maybe there's a, or check, it might be just you. I'm not sure, Jamie. Is it low? Okay, let me, um, how's this? Is it better now? Oh, it, also, the stream is delayed by about 10 seconds. So in about 10 seconds, the volume should have just come up. The volume was low, so it should be fixed now. Is it, is it fixed? Okay. Okay, so um, what we want to do, basically what the problem is is happening is when we're fanning the cards out. And so we have a function called fan cards in zone. So that's the thing that we got to mess with. Um, and right now is a, is a way that is, um, good. I'm glad Sweeney. Um, there, this is a valid way. So I don't want to not do it this way, but I want to have other options. So we're going to make another variable called order. How we, um, stack the cards. And that num that's going to be probably a number, but it could be a string. We'll, we'll see what's better um, as we uh, develop it. Um, but this, this stacking says we are going to go through the cards starting with two of clubs and three of clubs and four of clubs and five of clubs. And it's just putting the two of clubs leftmost. If the, if it, if the two of clubs is not in that zone, put the, the lowest card first and it just goes up that way. What we wanna do is we wanna say, wait, what's the top card and what's the bottom card? And our cards have a, um, have a variable, which is like a height variable. I don't remember what it's called, so we have to just kind of find what it's called. Um, but when we click on the card, I know that, uh, that changes the, the position of its height. So we're gonna find when we click on the card which is under the drag card element. Um, it's element style Z index. So um, the cards that are more on top have a bigger Z index and the cards that are more on bottom have a smaller Z index. So we're gonna grab that. Um, I also think when we shuffle the cards, it should also be affecting that Z index. I think. 
Oh, actually, wait. Uh, better than better than that. Um, card position is actually the lower card position are further down. The higher card position that that's the variable we actually want to work with. Um, so our card dot card position. So down here. Um, This is a, uh, it's been a while since we've looked at this function. Um, we're getting a current card. Okay, so we count how many cards are in the zone. And this is where commenting would have helped because even though we didn't write this too long ago, right now I'm trying to decode what the heck we've done. And, um, and we need to work in our own code, so that's fine, fine. Okay, so down in here, this is where we're fanning the cards actually. Um, Everything else, we're just trying to get like, how is it spaced? So this is gonna be the only part we need to really edit. And so we can say, um, stacks the cards from smallest to largest. Organized by the suit. Um, we're also going to comment that out because eventually we're going to say, okay, stack it this way, stack it this way. We don't want to delete it, but we do want to comment it out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say stack cards from lowest card position to highest card position. And we are using this card position um, piece. So um, there's a couple ways to do this, and I'm, I'm just going to process in my head for a second. Um, so we've got a bunch of cards. Um, what we want to do is we want to go through and find the, the one with the smallest number. And then we're going to go up from there. So we're going to say, um, and I'm going to make a, a local variable here. We can put it at the top later, but we're going to say var current card position. And so um, this is not gonna be very efficient as far as loops go. We could clean that up later, although when there's only 52 cards, or if you make a card game even with 2,000 cards, 2,000 is not a big number in, in, with computers. So I don't think it's gonna really matter with speed to make this more efficient than what we're gonna do. Um, and we're gonna set that current card position to negative one. And it's going to look a little like this. Um, and then... All right, that was premature, actually. But uh, the next thing we're going to do, we want to find out what's the largest card position. So we're going to say for var i equals 0, i is less than elements length i++. plus plus. So we're gonna run through all of our cards to find the largest card position. Um, the smallest we're gonna, actually, you know what? We've got current, smallest, and largest. So we're gonna go through all of our cards and we don't care if it's in our zone or not, we're just gonna go through and find what's the smallest card position and what's the largest. Now, every time you click on a card, it makes it a new card position. So they're not necessarily gonna be in order from like zero to 51. More often than not, they're gonna be like zero to 60 and with a couple of small gaps in there, depending on cards you've clicked on. But we can't make any assumptions, so we're gonna just go through 
the whole thing. And then we're going to say, um, I'm going to say elements dot card position. We're going to say if elements card position is less than smallest card position, then the smallest card position is going to equal element card position. We found a smaller one. And so we're looping through this entire deck of cards and saying, hey, is that card a smaller position? Is that card a smaller? And, and if it is, that becomes our new smallest card position. Now we're going to do the same exact thing for largest, and we can do it in the same loop. I'm going to say if it's greater than largest card position. Now, in theory, we could have cheated and just said go from 0 to 5,000 because most likely nobody's ever going to click more than 5,000 times in our game. But if somebody does click 5,001 times, that, that sloppy mode would, would not work. This one's going to say let's find the actual smallest and largest stack order of the cards. And they are going to be generally in order, but not necessarily. Um, we're also going to not make these negative ones. The smallest card position is going to equal the very first card in our, in our uh, deck, and so is the largest. So instead of I, we're going to say they're equal to the zeroth card, part, card position. Um, just so that we know that they are values that are in our, in our decks. Mm -hmm. Is some position wrong for lines? I know, I was just testing you. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought someone else pointed that out. P-O-S... P-O-S-I-T-I-O-N. Yeah, Trin, I, I was testing you, making sure you were paying attention. I wasn't really... I spelt it wrong. Now I have to make sure that I fix it everywhere. Now, um... If I did keep it wrong it actually wouldn't have mattered because these are my variable names. So as long as I'm consistently wrong, that's fine. Where it would matter is if later I wrote it the right way because I'm thinking to spell position the way you would expect to spell it, I would have problems, which is why I am correcting it. Um, so Trin, thank you for uh, pointing that out. Calvin was trying to steal your, uh, your, um, your observation. Now, okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to loop from the smallest card position. to less than or equal to the largest card position. Now, most of the time we, um, we do our loops with the letter I. The reason we use I is because X and Y, which are like algebra things, those are like our common variables, but those are positions in space on a graph. So we don't like using X and Y. I and J happen to be the the values that we like to use in computer science for loops. And if we needed another variable, we used K and then L, then M, then N. L we might skip because it looks like a one. Um, but we just start at I and work our way up because those variables are not used for a lot of other things. I is a, an imaginary number in math, but we don't really deal with that very often in computer science. Um, unless we're dealing with imaginary numbers and then we, we deal with that then. Um, now, so because I use this J, realize, oh, I am still going to do something with this I at the same time. I'm going to take this loop and put it inside of this, this J loop.
And I hope what we're about to do is going to work. So now what we're doing is we're saying, okay, if we're in the correct zone, put the card there. But we want to do another check as well. If... Elements is equal to J. So if the card were on, let me, I'll make this a little. Wrong. So this is basically saying if the card were on is equal to the s smallest card position and, oh, and it's in the correct zone then fan it where we want. If we don't hit that, and we're going to go through the entire deck saying, is it the smallest card and is it in our zone? Because we don't know where in that deck that smallest card is. We just know that it's in there. Now, if it's not, then we skip over it, and then we add one to J. And J is going to keep going up from the smallest position all the way to the largest. So it's going to be searching a lot of loops. Um, I'm going to test if this works before you... Um, because I, I might be bug testing it if, if it doesn't. Oop, uh-oh. <laughs> Something's wrong. Now, fortunate when this sort of thing happens, um, it's going to be a cannot read card position of undefined on line 353. So that's an easy one to fix. That's a syntax error. Um, oh, and that, <laughs> I just forgot to, um, like, that is nothing. Um that wasn't in a loop. That was just something that I had typed because that was something we were looking at. That's our only error. We're in good shape. Oh, oh no. So we've lost a whole bunch of cards now. That's crazy. I have no idea. What, oh, ooh. Um, It's also stacking them exactly the opposite order of that, what we would want. So we may have to start at the largest card position down to the smallest, but we'll, we'll deal with that. But you do see something good is happening here because it is stacking them in a more organized manner. Now, why is it only... Now it's doing them all correct. Okay, so... So we have to figure out why is it n not doing cards at some point, and I, I don't know that answer, but that's going to be the debugging piece. Um, we also might want to say, uh, make this largest. Greater than or equal to smallest. and J minus minus, because it seems to be going in the exact opposite order. Um, oh wait, that, might, that also might be wrong. That might be totally wrong. Oh no, okay, no, that, that actually looks like solitaire, um, except that it's breaking in some instances, that sometimes it just doesn't finish the stack. So we have to figure that out, but um, not, not too bad. Um, and these are just a little more compressed because we didn't make the zones big enough. But I'd say not a bad, job and then this eight can go here oh damn it um i don't know why it didn't put it in the correct spot the ace can go up here but you can see it is actually getting um and we uh this four can go here that one did right i don't know why this one did it funny this three of clubs so it's close but it's not totally right yet um and so now what we need to do is we need to play with it, see where it's going wrong, and fix what's going on. Be back one sec. I have a space heater in my office, and uh, it was cold before, so I turned it on. But now I'm like about to start sweating, because my office isn't that big. So when that sp space heater's on, it gets warm. Um, so ace. Eight. Oh, this ace. This ace. So in this instance, we have a pretty good game going. Eight and nine. Um, I'm going to cheat, move this here. 
she put that one on top, and then that one cheated. Um, so it's close, but it's not it's not quite right, and I'm not sure what the problem is there. Um, but this is the major thing we want to do today is get this to look this way. Um, the next thing would be to be able to move a stack of cards at all at the same time. Um, and that would be like instead of grab card, we'd grab card and all cards underneath it. Um, I, don't, I don't think that would be that tough, but uh, we have to get this one working first. Um, so we go through all the cards and we get the smallest and the largest card position. So this one stopped when it got to the two of clubs. So, okay, I, have a, I bet this is the two of clubs. So there's the two of clubs. So what's happening is, now I bet the two of clubs is up in this pile, which is why it's making it all the way through. So, um, so that's, and the two of clubs is, is an end case card. And then when we got to it, it printed everything. Oh no, it, yeah, it, it prints everything because, um, wow, that's really neat too. Look at, when I click on two of clubs, all the cards compress. Here they don't. That's kind of cool. So, um. That end point, we have an error somewhere. I bet this is the two of clubs. So when it hits the two of clubs, it stops processing the rest of the cards. Um, two of clubs. Okay, so. Smallest. Oh, look at that. I spelt position wrong here. That might be the error, is uh, I still had a misspelling. Um, if yours was working and my, mine wasn't. Okay, it looks like it's working. So that was actually a misspelling. I, I didn't realize, I, I didn't think that was going to be a misspelling problem. Um. So technically, oh, ah, that's the next piece. Get down there. So they're stacking funny in certain instances. The jack is higher than the queen, so it should fan it out correctly. Why isn't it going down? Wait a second. Okay, I'm not gonna say follow me with this part. I'm gonna reverse this again. I actually think that is probably the proper way. Um, but then when we deal the cards in Klondike, I think we're dealing them backwards. Um, so trues and false, deal card to zone. All right, let's do it uh, this way. Um, face up. Oh. Where 
Pirates fan cards and going in. Okay, so see how it's like stacking them the way we would hope, just upside down? Um, so what this is, is, so we just have to have, have them, just going from, have them go from bottom to top. So you can put this back this way. This is the order that we want. We just have to um uh We have to start at the bottom and work our way up. Oh no, that didn't work. Hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll 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 keep it the old way. So this might be something that I'm gonna play with a little bit off screen because um because I, I think I'm just gonna stumble here in front of you guys for a little bit, which isn't gonna get us anywhere. Um it's darn close. And now I just broke it again. <laughs> oh, it's going into an infinite loop. Okay. If anyone sees the problem. Oh, it's J minus minus. So we're gonna leave it as is. Um, it's not perfect, there's a bug in it. I'm gonna try to figure that bug out. Um, if anybody here wants to try to figure it out as, as well, they, they definitely can. But it's not, when we're dragging the cards in. Uh, okay, one last try. Um, ready, watch this. So deal card to zone sets the card position. Uh, deal card to zone. Who oh, does it set the card position? Yeah, I'm going to play, actually, I'm going to, I'm going to stop this stream for a minute. 